Hey everybody, Nick, you are here for a very special edition of the Prep Zone today. We are joined by O'Connell basketball head coach Joe Wooten. Coach, thanks for joining us. Uh, good to be with you. All right, we'll get right into it. Um, you guys just had a big win over a very good Southern Maryland team, public school in St. Charles on the DMV tip-off classic. What were some of the things you liked out of your team? Maybe some things you'd like to see your team improve on? Um, well, I, I thought you know St. Charles is a heck of a team, and we uh, we did a great job of uh, settling down and, and running good offense, defending and rebounding. I, I thought we rebounded really well overall. Yeah, that's a good point. You guys lost um, some players last year. Rebounding will be key. And we're going to take a quick commercial break, but don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with O'Connell head coach Joe Wooten. We use state-of-the-art live be, uh, uh, and video production tool to create okay, an unparalleled good. viewing experience from local sporting events. Whether we're using our 12-foot HD broadcast production truck or employing one of our state-of-the-art fly pack kits, our broadcasts always include multiple camera angles, instant replay, live scoring, graphics, and a complete broadcast crew working together to showcase the DMV's finest. Contact us today to learn more about our services and streaming packages. Visit us on the web at dmvstream.com. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to a very special edition of the Prep Zone. Nick, you are here joined by O'Connell head coach Joe Wooten. And, Coach, we were talking about your team start this season. You guys are off to another great start, 5-1 and one overall. How would you compare this season's start to some in years past? Um, you know, I think we've played a very difficult schedule. I'm actually uh, on the way, uh, way to Florida now. Um, we're playing in the EC16, which is a uh, – an eight-team tournament um, pre-Christmas, and then we go to the beach ball after Christmas. So I think, you know, it's been a it's been a, a challenging beginning schedule, but I think that's good because it tells you where you are and what you need to work on. And we obviously have things we need to continue to get better at, but um, uh, at least we know them now and, and can grow from there. Yeah. So this year's team, you lost some key guys from last year, Mac Beck and Xavier Johnson, who's just killing it in Pittsburgh uh, right now, folks. By the way, um, but you also returned some key guys last year, like Charlie Weber and Ian Teal. So how did you feel about uh, your team coming into this year? You know, I mean, I, I lost two great ones, as you mentioned, in Xavier and Matt, and, and probably the greatest thing that they left was just two great competitors and two great leaders. So uh, really proud of them, and, and Matt's injured, but uh, not surprised that Xavier's uh, just doing fantastic. I saw he was on the NBA watch list, which you know, he's got – He's got that. I'm not saying he's uh, Russ, uh, Russell Westbrook yet, but he's got that Russell we uh, Westbrook speed, and um, I think he could surprise a lot of people. But you know, I, I like our team. Uh, we return uh, Charlie, as you mentioned, um, who's getting interest from you know West Virginia and Pittsburgh, as we mentioned, um, and he can really shoot. In fact, against St. Charles, he almost had a triple double with 23 points, 10 rebounds, and seven assists. Um, so I, I think his best basketball is in front of him. Teal's a, a leader at the point. Uh, Jamal Banks, who's a, who started for us every game last year, football basketball combo guy, is uh, is really good in terms of just you know so tough on the board, so tough you know in terms of doing the little things. And then you know we had uh, Brayon Freeman, um, who was on our JV last year, practice with the varsity. Uh, Marcus Dockery, uh, two really good guards, and uh, and then uh, we had back Jake Barry, who who's had quite a run. He um, he had two knee surgeries, the exact same surgery on each knee, his freshman sophomore year. Then he got cleared knee-wise and then ended up with uh, uh, testicular cancer. Beat that, so he's been through uh, more than most have been through in a lifetime. And back playing, he's 6'10 and a half, um, lefty, and uh, so he's good. And then Wes Peterson is, is a kid that I think can really help us. He's come on as of late. Um, he was a, fr a freshman who played spot minutes as a last year but is a good sophomore now yeah it's an excellent point a lot of guys returning that's why you're always one of the top programs in the area and charlie weber just i'm really excited to watch him grow these past couple of years so i wanted to talk to you guys about that scheduling you are being one of the top programs in the area and in the country how do you do you go about scheduling early in the season what do you look for because you've already had a tough conference game versus pvi and good counsel and then an upcoming christmas tournament which is kind of unusual can you kind of explain the scheduling process early in the season 
you know, I mean, we, we get it. We're given our league schedule by uh, by the league, so that obviously is pretty sad, but there's still some movement there if you have other games you need to schedule and uh, that. So um, so I think that, that obviously occurs. And then, you know, we had the Morgan Wooten tip-off tournament. We played a tough Sidwell team, so you want to, and we played Georgetown Prep the previous year, so you want a tough early season test. Um, and then I think, you know, you, you go outside. I always try to – we've been to Vegas. We've been to Torrey Pines. We've going to Myrtle Beach, we're going to Florida, you try to get that outside test to kind of see where you rack up, you know, stack up nationally, um, and then you, know, you come back and, and hopefully you're more battle-tested, more sharpened, uh, you know, because of the, the tough test. I think, you know, it's easy to maybe play an easier schedule, but I think you kind of get uh, a, a false impression of who you are. I think any team, so by playing a tough schedule, you get that that true impression of what your strengths and weaknesses are, and what what's going to be your uh, you know your way in which you're going to find success as a team. And so I think that's something that an early tough schedule does. But you know, um, so league schedule, you know, great out of conference. Um, like we're also going to the Big Apple Basketball Classic over Martin Luther King. Going to play a traditional New York Power and St. Raymond's over over that weekend. So um, you know, th- there's no easy ones at all. Yes completely true and it shows what a great program this is you in that high level competition a lot of eyes and a lot of people looking at you so what are some of these big things you're looking to see and get out of the upcoming christmas tournament in florida and in myrtle beach is it really just to get get you ready for that tough ca wcac schedule yeah get us ready for tough, tough wcac schedule i mean obviously we're going down to each tournament you know with the with the goal to win it um so i think you know find a way you know i think one thing you try to do is try to get better for the WCAC regular season. You also have to know how to play a tournament style. You know, it's three games, three days. You face that in the WCAC tournament, the uh, state tournament, and then the Alhambra. So I think, you know, it's it's prepping you for end-of-the-season play. Um, I think it's giving you great competition. I think it's something that, you know, is not talked about. It gives you your guys a chance to spend some time you know, away together, uh, away from the distractions of everything. We just finished exams. So, you know, our guys are going out with with, uh, with all the academics, you know, kind of uh, like on break. And I, and I think, you know, we went to Tory Pines last year. We went to, you know, there a couple of sites. We went to the beach. And so we'll, we'll try to do some things outside of basketball that can bring our guys together and, you know, build that chemistry, build that bond. But I think so important when you're playing against teams that all have a talent as well, you know, it's the little things that make the difference. And so I think that can be, uh, the third and kind of less known goal. Yeah, it's a great point with uh, two big tournaments, WCAC and then the, the Vista State Tournament as well for you guys. So important at the end of the year, so it's great to get some tournament-like atmosphere. So we'll go back a little bit ways here with when you first took over the O'Connell program. I've uh, read you've averaged over 22 wins per year during your long tenure at the school, and the year before you got there, they had just six wins. So what does I mean, now O'Connell's one of the top teams in the area, if not the country, each year. So what does that type of rebuild mean to you and uh, your staff around you? You know, I mean, I, I've been, you know, I, I got advice when I first started from my father. He said, surround yourself with good people. And um, and, and I, I think I, I, if I've done anything well, I've done that well. It's, and I think we've had uh, over 55 guys playing college. We've had 15 guys go on to become high school head coaches, college head coaches, college assistants. They coached it with us over the last 20 years. So I think, you know, good values attract good people. And if you, if you get good kids, you know, um, I think good things happen, and obviously I'm, I'm speaking about them as people, not just basketball players. Uh, so I think that, that's been a, a big key, um, you know, in terms of that consistency. And then I think, you know, it's been hard work. Um, you know, the coaches and the players who I've been fortunate to work with have worked really hard. I always say to guys, and, and I believe you're, you're a former uh, camp guy, uh, camp attendee, but, um, you know, it's, I always say that, it, it, you know, Basketball is hard work, and you got to love to be in the gym. And so, you know, I would say if you don't love to be in the gym, then we're not the right program for you. But if you love to be in the gym, uh, then we can help, hopefully help you get better and help you grow in basketball and in life skills. Yeah, and that's so true. I mean, when you think O'Connell basketball, you think Arlington, Virginia. You think O'Connell, you think Joe Wooten. So it's just been such a great run for you guys there. Um, so you've been at O'Connell for almost 20 years now, I believe, as head coach. Why has O'Connell and the surrounding community, Arlington, that type of area, been a place – um, you'd like to call home this whole time because, well, you know, with all the success, there are bound to be some other options out there. 
You know, it's interesting. Um, you know, I, I grew up in Maryland, and when you move to Virginia, you might as well, might as well move to California, according to Maryland or so. Um, you know, that's always uh, that's always an interesting thing. But really love Virginia, call it home. Um, you know, my daughter's a, a sophomore at O'Connell. This is my 20th year, and, and I've been fortunate to be there for that long. And, and it's a great place. It's a great community. Um, Arlington's a great place. We live in Vienna, right by Tyson's Corner. Um, so it's just a great place to raise a family. It's a great community to be a par- part of. And, um, and you know, I think one of the nice things that it's been is been, you know, if, if you had to say one word about O'Connell, it's just friendly. And it's, it's just a great community. So uh, very fortunate to work with the students there and the, and the faculty and staff. Yeah, it certainly is. Beautiful new uh, football field as well there in, uh, at O'Connell. I mean, I've been around that uh, program, that area a long time. I've uh, been going to the camps forever. So why, uh, how, much is the, how much does that community and the camps um, do for you, mean to you in this program? And I just say that um, I've been to both the Wooten Camp at O'Connell and the Sleepaway at Frostburg State. They are some of the best basketball instruction camps in the country. So kids, get your parents to sign you up for those um, this summer. So what does those kind of programs, these camps kind of do for you guys? So I, I think number one, it, it does a lot of things. Uh, I I find uh, you know, get to work with great people. I think the one thing that I love about basketball is helping people move forward, whether it's coaches or assistants. So you know, every day we do a coaches roundtable where we mentor coaches and work with coaches uh, that are on the rise, um, and we have a lot of a lot of great friends. So it's it's a, it's a great friendship uh, for for me with the staff, um, Chris Harney, James Preston guys that have you know come back and worked with us for many years uh always look forward to seeing um and then i think you know one of the neat things is our players as you know uh serve as referees at the camp and demonstrate and things like that so i think it's a great experience for them because it's a it's a job doing the thing they love which is basketball and um and then on top of it you know you know one of our goals at camp we always say we want them to love basketball more at the end of the week than they do at the beginning of the week. And the way we make that happen is we teach the game and we have fun. And I think, you know, basketball should be fun. It's, it's a, it should be something that's enjoyed. Um, and, and again, I think, you know, many of us, they're, they're going to take the ball away and say, what else can you do? And I think you can say, Hey, I learned life skills, learned how to work hard, work well with others, you know, sacrifice, be resilient, uh, be coachable. And I think those are skills that, people can take into other lines of work that they value long after they put the ball down. So I think, I feel like, you know, we're hopefully paying it forward a little bit with the camp um, for kids that love, love the great game. Yeah, and it's um, certainly true. I mean, I'm a, a product of that as well. I mean, I had no, con- no connection with the O'Connell program, but you guys are able to just um, connect with so many kids and uh, help them grow uh, their love for the game of basketball all around the area. Um, people, seriously, uh, you should seriously go to that camp if you are of age and looking to get better in basketball and so we'll go in a different direction here um you like you said earlier have over 50 o'connell basketball alumni playing in the ncaa and some in the nba how do you if at all try to keep up with um all your old guys you know i mean obviously it's it's a challenge um you know and it's it's interesting we had a we had an alumni come back um went to johns hopkins and is doing a startup, uh, you know, one of those uh, multi-million dollar startups out in the Bay Area with uh, research and development. So, you know, hopefully you see them come back to games, come back to a practice, come back in the summer. Um, and, um, you know, and, and it's amazing, you know, one of the things, you know, they'll come back and remember something you said and you don't even remember saying it. Um, and they remember the experience and, and you didn't even think it was that, that big of a deal at the time. So um, it's always really nice and gratifying to you know hear their stories and hear what was you know influential for them at a young age um and great to see their successes um you know it, it's interesting you know one of the big things that you know i think a coach is sometimes defined by wins and losses but i think more importantly is going to be you know, how how well do your your student athletes do in, in the game of life and if you can help them be successful in life um through basketball i think i think good things can happen yeah, and it's a great point. You just see all the all the people that have come through your program on and off the court. I mean, it just shows why you guys have been so successful. So we'll get back to this year's team. Um, so consistent year in and year out with your program. What are expectations for this year's team, and do they change year to year, or is it pretty much stay the same with your program? You know, I mean, obviously you, you want certain things to be consistent. Um, number one is, you know, we really value teamwork. 
Um, you know, you know, we you know, we some small that we do, but we we define what it. We have the players define what a team is, and this year they said it was communication, resiliency, sacrifice, and toughness. And then we talk about it. We actually the players, not us, vote every day to 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 decide who exhibited those characteristics, and it changes day to day. Um, and it's not voted on by the coaches, but just to emphasize that being a good teammate matters. Um, being part of uh, something greater than yourself matters. And and hopefully, you know, one thing we always try to define is how do you bring your individual skill and give it to the good of the team. And we always use the term, the strength of the pack is in the wolf, but the strength of the wolf, the wolf is in the pack. So the idea being when you're guarding the ball, you're a wolf, you're, you're guarding that ball, but you know you got a pack behind you. And in turn, the pack is backing up the in- individual. So um, we value teamwork. We value hard work. Um, the idea that, you know, if you I, if you want to be a great shooter, you got to spend time shooting the basketball. And then skill-wise would be lead us right into the skill of shooting. Um, I think it's one of those, those, you know, we double down on shooting. So if you can shoot the basketball, um, it's going to be a game changer. And I think you have to spend time doing it and you have to commit time to it in practice. We spend the first 20 minutes, 25 minutes of practice every day just shooting the ball. And, uh, and I always say to kids at camp, you know, it's, it's a great feeling when you shoot the ball and the ball goes to the net. Um, and so, you know, it, but it takes a lot of hard work to get there. So I'd say teamwork, hard work, shooting, um, and, uh, and just development, you know, just getting better. I, I think basketball has gotten a little sped up meaning that now we have to identify the greatest eighth grader, the greatest seventh grader. And, you know, I think there's a value in a guy that wasn't the best, you know, is in sixth, seventh, and eighth grade, has talent, is a good player, loves the game, and and they develop as a junior and senior. You know, Matt Back, who you mentioned before, never made a B, never made an A team in his life. He was always on the B team, um, led the D.C. area in threes, made with 129 last year. And, um, and yet 25 scholarship offers. So, you know, I think development's a big, big key. Yeah, it's an excellent point. And an excellent point with the camps as well. I was going to say you guys emphasize that shooting a lot as the camps as well. And that's a, a, certainly a great part of that. So we'll get you out of here on this, Coach. Um, what do you think is the most important team, or important thing, I'm sorry, for your team to reach those expectations and make a deep run in the WCAC this year? You know, I, I think we, I think our, our area we got to work on is, is uh, you know, I think three basic things. Rebound the basketball, mm-hmm. defend as defend as a unit, and then you know you know control tempo with our offense. You know, be able to work for a great shot because you know in in the playoffs in the tough WCAC games, you're only going to get so many easy looks. And um, you know, I think one of the things you have to do is not just take the first available, work for a great one, and really use that idea of that we're working for. We're, we're not just holding the ball. We're we're we're, we're screening. We're cutting. We're driving it hard. We're kicking. We're feeding the low post. And so we're working the whole time, but it's it's all part of the process of getting the greatest shot you can. So I think those three big things, and then just being being in it for each other. Um, you know, I think the teams that are in it for each other are resilient um, and they bounce back. Yeah, I mean that's a it's a great point, and you've shown it over these past years with your team bouncing back every year consistently and consistent each year. Lose guys last year, and again, one of the top teams in the area well that's going to do it for us on the prep zone coach joe wooten from o'connell high school thank you for joining us coach hi pleasure to be with you and uh, good luck to everyone this year all right thank you coach good luck to you as well this year remember if you'd like to see more highlights interviews plays all that stuff make sure to check us out at dmvstream.com